Hi everyone, I'm Susan Geritani and I'm, ca I'm here at the Rossetti Cowan Senior Center here in Revere, Massachusetts. And today's chair yoga practice is going to be about change. With the new uh, season upon us, change is evident and I thought that this would be a great time to introduce you to it. So get some comfy clothes on. If you have a um, strap or a towel, get it and get a chair and come and join me. Okay, so we're gonna begin seated, making sure your feet are grounded into the ground, into the floor, and sit back, and we're going to begin our practice with some breathing techniques that are going to help you stabilize and, and ground yourself. So I want you to sit up nice and tall in your chair, feet are grounded, making sure that you can feel all your ten toes and your heels into the ground. Sit up nice and tall, and if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. Um, so taking a deep breath, closing your eyes, take a nice deep breath in, breathing in, and breathing out. And do a few on your own here. So breathing in, and breathing out. And as you're breathing in, feel the air going into your nostrils, into your lungs, your lungs expanding, and then releasing that. And just feel the weight of the breathing. Just feel it going in and out. And give a scan to your body see if there are any tight spots, any tension as you're breathing in. So breathe in and breathe out. And with each breath, see if you can draw in a little more air, a little deeper, breathing in. With each draw in, try to make your exhale a little longer. Again, inhale and exhale. And on your next three breaths, as you're inhaling, hold it at the top. And as you exhale, draw that belly button into your spine, blowing out that air through your nostrils. And try that two more times, inhaling in. Hold it at the top and relax, let it out. Drawing that belly button in. And one more in. And let it out. Good, good. Now I want you, before you open your eyes, I want you to scan your body, going from your toes up to your heels, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, your bottom, your hips your spine, your chest, your shoulders, your arms. Feel your fingers drawing it back up to your elbows, back up to your shoulders, to your neck, to the back of your head, to the top of your head all the way to your nose, your mouth, and your chin. Take a nice big inhale in, and exhale out. Let's do that one more time. Inhale it in, and exhale it out. And then you can open
open up your eyes. Wonderful. So let's begin. So before we do begin, um, if you're feeling any tightness or any pain, I don't want you to push through it. This isn't about, you know, pain gets you the gain. Uh, with yoga, it's not about being painful. So you go to your capacity, your stretch. This is about your practice. It's not about me. It's not a competition. Um, so you go with where your body is telling you. And with more practice with yoga, you'll notice that you'll get a little more flexible, a little more deeper in the stretch, okay? Yoga is about um, a mindful practice of your breath, you being mindful and stretching the body, being aware of the body. Okay, so we're gonna begin it. We're gonna begin from the head all the way down to our, um, our feet. And um, sometimes you might need a book or a block uh, if you, you're not able to touch the ground. So if you want to grab a book or a block, you can do that and keep that to the side. So um, as we're sitting here, I want you to sit, come away from the chair a bit so that you're not slouching into the chair, but you're sitting up nice and tall so that your head's on top of your shoulders, your shoulders are on top of your hips, and you are seated, planted into the chair. And both cheek butts are on the chair, okay? So you're sitting there nice and tall. And what we're going to do is we're gonna begin from our head. So I want you to kind of bring your chin up to the sky, drawing in, that's an inhale. And as you exhale, just drop your chin to your chest slowly. And you might feel a nice long stretch in your back of your neck. Don't force it. And as with each inhale, I want you to look up. And with each exhale, I want you to look down. And do that on your own a few times. So loosening up that neck, looking up, inhaling, exhaling, looking down, looking up again, and exhale down. And then come to center. And then next inhale, we're gonna drop our head to the left side. And then inhale it up, and then drop it to the right side. Now you'll notice I'm doing it opposite because I'm opposite you and I might screw that up, so forgive me. Um, so making sure you're keeping your shoulders down, nice tall spine, and bring that back up to center. Again, drop it over to the side, draw it up. Two more on each side, drop it over to the side, come up, drop it over to the side, come up. Next time you drop it over, I want you to extend that opposite arm straight. Good, feeling the stretch a little longer. And the higher you bring your arm up, you might feel a stretch either up here in your upper arm or in the back of the neck. And then bring that back. And then let's do that on the other side. Dropping, letting our hand down, lifting it up, and then dropping it down again and coming back. Good. So let's warm up those shoulders because they are in need of some stretching and some changing. So um, we're going to begin with our hands um, on our laps. And I want you to think about throwing your shoulders towards me. So squeezing, arching your back in a little way like a cat. Shoulders are coming towards me. Then you're going to lift them all the way up to your ears. Then you're going to open that chest, lift them to the back of the room, and then you're going to drop them down. Okay, so let's do that again. There are four points. So coming forward, inhale, up, exhale, back, inhale, down. Good. Let's do that again. One more time. Forward, up, open, and down. And let's try that in reverse. So 
back, <laughs> lift them up, come forward, and then down. And one more time, back, up, forward, and down. Good. Inhale our hands all the way up to the sky, palms touch, draw them to heart center. Again, inhale up, exhale, draw them to heart center. One more time, inhale up, exhale, open, and press your hands together really tight. So pressing um, them really together, pressing them in like you're going to squish a peach. Okay, so pressing, pressing, good. Now taking that tension, I want you to inhale in, and exhale, go towards the left side of the room. Pressing, inhale in to the front, exhale to the other side. Good, inhale forward, exhale to the side. Inhale forward, exhale to the side. Inhale forward, draw your hands up into goal Wiggle your fingers, okay? Roll your wrists. Good. So now that you're in gold post, I want you to take your left hand, draw it over your shoulder, and turn your head to the left. And then return it to the middle. Open it up and do that to the other side. Drawing that shoulder, the opposite shoulder, Turn it to the bent arm, draw it up, and come back. We'll do that one more time on each side. Draw our shoulder, turn our head, draw it back to the front, come up, and one more time, cross that shoulder, turn it over, come back, and draw it up. Keeping your hands here. I want you to drop your shoulders forward and then up again, forward and up. One more time, forward and up. Inhale, hands all the way up to the sky, palms touch, let it rain over you. Wonderful. Okay, shoulders are a little warmed up. Let's warm up the spine. Um, so inhale our hands all the way up, palms touch, Draw them to heart center and twist towards that side, the left side, and then come forward and we're gonna to twist towards the right side. So we're just warming up that spine, going back and forth. So inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you come back, inhale forward, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale back, Wonderful. So just shake it out. Great. So let's warm up those hands and um, fingers too, because they need some change and some help. So I want you to draw your hands up to the sky in the front and stop sign, motorcycle, stop sign, motorcycle. Notice if your shoulders are rising up and if they are lower them stop sign motorcycle stop sign motorcycle one more time stop sign motorcycle wonderful shake it out okay so let's warm up the back of the spine in the chest so first we'll open up the chest so inhale um, your hands forward pressing them back and if you have the back of your chair, hold on to it. If not, you can clasp your hands together if you don't have the back of the chair. And open up and think about your arching your back. So this is kind of like a baby back bend. So opening up that chest muscle. See if you can squeeze those shoulder blades together or those elbows together as you inhale and exhale. Wonderful. Again, inhale. Hold it, squeeze, and exhale, release, great. Now push, your, bring your hands together and push away towards me to round that spine. And you might wanna drop your head a little bit. So breathe in, 
breathe out. Again, breathe in, breathe out. And again, return your hands back and open up that chest one more time, squeezing those blades together. And then exhale, clasp your hands and press that back, good. So let's return to center. Hands are gonna be on our lap. Um, open up your feet just a little wider than hip distance apart. And you might wanna scoot yourself a little forward here um, so that you're not, your butt is not all the way back to the chair. And what we're going to do is we're gonna warm up our spine and our lower back here. So um, as you're holding your, your knees here, I want you to think about your spine being long. So I'm extending nice and long, okay? And I want you to come forward, nice straight spine. Now, if you feel like you need a book or a pillow or something to hold on to, you can. I want you to show, I'm gonna show you on the side how your spine should be. So you should not be round over like this. You should be straight, okay? So nice straight spine. So inhaling, coming forward, exhaling, going back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Good, one more time. Inhale forward, exhale back. I lied. One more time, forward. And now, if you can, walk your hands down to the floor and see if you can touch the floor. If not, get the book. And then lower your head and relax and let everything go. This is called forward fold. So one of the things that you might want to try to do is maybe hold on to your elbows and just let it go and just hold and let gravity let take its course. So releasing that lower spine, wonderful. Shake your head yes, shake your head no to release any tension. Always come back to your breath. If you find that you're holding your breath, remember to breathe. That's the simple thing to do. So breathing in and breathing out. Good. Now walking yourself all the way back up. Nice tall spine. Inhale your hands all the way up to the sky. Palms touch. And now we're gonna climb that rope. We're gonna side stretch. So I want you to think about not bending forward, but reaching that side body. And think about climbing that rope, okay? So I'm climbing that rope, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, great. Breathing out, climbing that rope, feel that side body stretch, wonderful. And return, great. So now we're gonna try to open up, um, warm up our legs and our hips and um, eventually our feet. So we're going to, I want you to take your left leg and draw it in. Now think about your spine here. Is your spine rolling forward? And if it is, just lower your leg a little bit so that spine can be nice and long. It's more important for your spine to be lengthened then you get your knee up high, okay? So thinking about the spine, nice and erect, bring in that knee and hold it, and maybe roll your ankles to warm up those while we're here. And if you, again, if you're noticing that you're slouching, just bring that knee down a little bit. You can hold it here, as long as you're nice and tall in your spine, good. And then take the, your hand on your knee and then just, we'll do some circles. So inhaling and exhaling. So opening up that hip joint and you wanna keep that foot flexed. You don't want it to point. So keep that heel um, guiding you and then reverse direction. Good, keep breathing. 
and then you can plant that down and let's do that with the other leg so lifting up nice and sp nice time to check yourself with your spine um, sit up nice and tall bring that knee up and we'll do some maybe rolling our ankles first I forgot about that and then your hips okay good okay and now so um, we've done that we're going to warm up the core so you can scoot yourself back a little bit into the chair and we're going to inhale our hands all the way up to the sky and then draw them down so uh, we're going to do opposites i want you to lift the opposite leg to the opposite hand and then come down and then lift the opposite leg on the other side like you're marching Okay, so making sure you're breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, focus on that spine, is it nice and long? Good. And we'll do one more on each side, inhaling and exhaling, good. Now we're going to do our two feet, so bring our feet up and then down and then bring our hands up and down you can hold on to the chair bring your feet up and down and then hands up and down one more time feet and hands now we're going to do both bringing both up hold and down good again hold and down two more times inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale good if any of the poses are too much for you just do what you feel you can do like I said there's no competition here there's no no um, you know running around trying to compete with me or anybody else this is about your practice you're in charge of it so whatever feels that moves you this is what you should do okay so now that we're pretty much warm up we're going to do a little flow and it's a sun salutation flow so to begin we're going to um, come to the to the edge of the chair feet are planted and we're going to stand in mountain pose okay so if we were standing we would be standing just like this but standing up obviously so stand up in mountain pose making sure my hips are above uh, below my shoulders and um, my neck is nice and erect and standing here inhale our hands all the way up to the sky palms touch forward fold over with that flat spine that we did earlier flat spine exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift so that you can walk your hands up so your spine is erect exhale forward fold again inhale our hands out to the side all the way up palms touch draw them to heart center we're going to do that three more times inhale our hands all the way up palms touch exhale forward fold flat back nice long neck inhale all the way up halfway exhale forward fold inhale hands out to the side palms touch draw them to heart center two more did i say two we'll do two inhale our hands all the way up exhale forward fold as you notice i can't count <laughs> inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale all the way up palms touch draw them to heart center our last time inhale our hands all the way up exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift and exhale forward fold inhale all the way up palms touch draw them to heart center now i'd like you to open up your feet a little wider we're going to place our hands on our knees and leaning forward into that halfway lift that we did earlier 
I want you to think about bringing your um, right shoulder to your left knee. So drawing that shoulder down, nice flat spine, and then coming back up. Okay, so exhale, inhale up, exhale forward, drawing that shoulder to that floor, inhale up, again, drawing that shoulder to the floor, inhale up, good, one more time each side, drawing that shoulder to the floor, inhale up, and then one more time, inhale up, Great. So I'm going to bring some heat and then we're going to do some leg stretches, some balance, and then we'll be done. So making sure your feet are planted on the floor. Feel them. Okay. And we're going to do chair pose, which is um, we'll do some practicing sitting in the chair and then some standing. If you feel, you know, that you'd like to try to do the standing one, absolutely give it a shot. If not, you can still do it in the chair. Okay, so um, drawing our hands down, I want you to inhale your hands all the way up towards your ears. Now for me, this is as far as I can go without straining my neck. So pulling, I'm drawing out towards you, okay? My spine is nice and long. And then we're gonna draw our hands back towards the back of the room. And then inhale up, good, and exhale back. Again, inhale up, exhale back. Now, if you'd like to try it, standing up, inhale up, just a few inches off that chair, exhale back. One more time, inhale up. You're feeling that heat in the legs. Exhale back. Oh, let's try it one more. Inhale up. Exhale back. And then slowly plant yourself in that chair. Wonderful. Uh, so if you have a strap or a belt or a towel, this would be a good time to grab it. So um, if you do have a strap, um, the strap you want to make sure that you um, hold the strap very tightly. You can loop it, like I just did, and place your foot in there. But if you don't, if you don't have a loop, then you can just hold it just like this to hold the towel or the um, belt uh, or the strap just like this. So we're at whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. So we're gonna begin, um, you choose on which leg you wanna begin with. And what we're going to try to do is remember that spine being nice and long. And we're gonna draw that knee up to our chest and we're just gonna extend it out. So pressing that heel out towards me, pressing it out. And then bending it in and pressing it out. And again, bend it in and press it out. And then holding on to that strap, you can hold on to your chair sitting up nice and tall. We're just going to open the leg up and then draw it in. And then open and draw it in. And then open and draw it in. And one more time, open and draw it in. Perfect. And let's try that on the other side. So getting our, lay, our strap ready. We're gonna hold on to that chair if you need to. You're gonna draw it up, knee bent. You're gonna press that knee forward, not your knee, your heel, and then draw it in. That would be hard to press your knee forward. Push your heel away towards me, and then draw it in. One more time. I lied, one more out. And now we're gonna open it up. So open it up. Now feel the difference between this leg and the other leg. Notice if you're tighter, and then you can let that go. Great, okay. So, taking the strap 
and cutting it in half. So making sure you hold on to that buckle. You don't want that buckle to hit you in the eye. Keeping the um, strap, uh, you know, uh, shoulder, uh, more than shoulder distance apart. And we're gonna make sure you lower your shoulders. And I want you to lift that band up over your head. So the towel and keep it nice and taut, okay? So we're gonna bring that again down and then lift it up and then forward down towards your lap, and then up, beautiful. Down, are you breathing? Good. And now that we're here, we're gonna go side to side. So before you go side to side, I want you to melt your two cheeks of your butt into the chair. So not one piece is going, what one side is gonna come up, it's going to melt right into the chair. Good and then come up. And let's try that on the other side. Nice side stretch, good. Holding that nice and tight, good. One more time, don't hold your breath, wonderful. Now, if you can go a little wider, see if you can push it back a little further without your shoulders coming up to your ears. Lower those shoulders, good. And now stretch that out, oh, that felt so good. Good, so you can put this away. And now we're gonna do a couple of standing poses just to help with our balance. So come to your chair. I'm going to turn my chair so that you can see me on the side. So holding onto the back of the chair, I want you to um, feel your toes. So your hips should be shoulder distance apart. And eh, not even shoulder distance apart, maybe two fists in between your, your feet. And what I want you to do is come up on your toes all the way and then drop down and then push back on your heels. So do that a couple of times, inhaling up and exhaling coming down. Again, inhale up and exhale come down. And we'll do it one more time and exhale down, good. So walking your feet back, keeping that spine nice and flat, I want you to press your hands into the chair like you're pressing down. Press your hips back towards the room and see if you can get your chest all the way down to the ground. So a nice uh, straight spine pushing back so pressing down it with your hands into that chair, pressing back, and bend your knees a little bit here, and then straighten them. Good. So as you bend them, you'll notice that it alleviates the pressure in the back and you can get down a little more. So when you feel like you can get down a little more, try to just imagine those heels pushing down so that you can keep that spine nice and long. Good. And then slowly bend your knees and slowly walk yourself back up. Good. That felt great. Now, holding on to the back of the chair, we're gonna take our, um, one of your legs back. So stepping back so that your nice, you have, um, your hips are nice and forward and your two legs are straight, but a soft bend in those knees. You don't wanna hyper extend, so you wanna have that soft bend, but you want your legs straight. And I want you to think about um, your hips here. So your hips shouldn't be out like this, they should be forward. And holding on to the chair, I want you to see if you can come down a little forward now. So you might want to walk your hands down the chair, keeping those hips forward, and you'll feel a stretch in your hamstrings and in your calves. Good. Now, walking yourself back up, take that front foot and bend it a little bit with that back leg. Good. And see if you can draw one hand up and then maybe you wanna to try to draw the two hands up. If not, you can still hold on. You wanna make sure that the knee that's bent in the front is not way over your toes. You wanna to make sure it's in alignment 
with your ankles. So here is lunge and we're going to breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out. Good. And then coming back and then we're going to draw that in. And we're going to try that on the other side. So drawing that leg back nice and straight, keeping those hips forward, pushing our hips back, soft bend in the knee, and we're going to walk our hands down the chair, nice long spine, and see if you can feel that nice long stretch, stretching that hamstring. Good. So breathe in and breathe out and walk your hands back up and then maybe step back a little further, bend that front knee and then we're going to try that lunge. So making sure that we're not leaning over into the chair, that our chest is erect, our spine is right above our hips. And we're going to draw one hand up, then if you feel the need, you can draw the other hand up and breathe. So a couple of breaths here. We're building strength in the legs. If you can only do one hand, that's fine too. It's your practice. So breathing in and out. Good. Some days you have it and some days you don't. Good. And then you can let that go and slowly draw that foot in. Good. And then um, one more for balance. We're going to try um, tree pose. So tree pose, you want to make sure that you have um, the weight on one leg. So if, um, depending, you decide what leg you're going to try first. So for me, I'm going to try um, my left leg, your side, right side. Um, so I'm going to put all the pressure into my leg and slowly lift up my toes. So this is tree stand pose. So you can just put your toes, um, your heel pressing into your calf, the lower part of your calf. And you're sitting up nice and tall. And then if you want to bring one hand out, you can. And then you can try the other hand. If you feel like you can't, no problems, you can hold on. Some days we have it, some days we don't. If you want to try a little more, you can bring your foot, press it into your calf. Don't press it onto your knee or your ankle, but press it into your calf, squeezing it together. So I'm pressing that in. All my weight is on this leg. And you can extend your arms up, you can give it a try. Can hold on it's totally up to you today I'm a little wobbly embrace the wiggle the wiggle is helping you get stronger getting those ankles stronger so think about that core drawing in nice and tight good and then we can let go shake it out and let's try it on the other side so getting into chair pose I mean um, tree pose. So I'm in tree stand holding on. All the weight is in this leg. And again, if you want to try it here or here, it's totally up to you. So holding tight, nice and tight. I'm drawing both those legs towards one another. Core is nice and tight. And then I'm growing my tree. And if you really want to challenge yourself, Close your eyes for a second and see how that changes the dynamics. Great, great. So shake it out. Wonderful. All right, so let's get back on our chair and do a slow meditation um, to draw us in together. We talked about change here. We did a lot of changing over our bodies. Um, if you are consistent with doing yoga, you will notice that your practice or the experience will get easier uh, and it will bring you um, 
you know, not only just inner peace and it relieves stress, but it will also, you'll notice that you're more agile and you're able to do things that you would not be able to do. So let's get relaxed. So sit all the way back into your chair, reach back, and this is a time for you to let go. This is a time where you have done the practice, you've increased all this tension in your body, now it's to let it go. So as you're laying here, or sitting here, if you choose to do this on the, on the floor or on your bed, you can. Um, on the chair, if you're in a recliner, kick the re recliner back um, and just melt into that chair. And keeping your palms up towards the sky so that you're, you're opening up yourself to what you've just done. And feel, scan your body for one more time where there's tension. And close your eyes. And I want you to just reflect and see what, where your body is, how it feels from this moment, and how did it feel when you first began? Do you notice that your shoulders feel a little more relaxed? So breathing into each part of your body to see if you can release it. So if there's tension in your buttocks, release it. If there's tension in your legs, let them flop open. In your shoulders, see if you can press them down towards the ground. And breathe in and breathe out. This is a time to be uh, kind to yourself. You just worked very hard. So breathing in, and breathing out. Tap into your breath. I invite you, if you feel like um, doing a longer meditation practice, I invite you to do that right now. But for the others who are finished, I want you to wiggle your fingers and your toes, open up your eyes, sit up nice and tall in your chair, inhale your hands all the way up to the sky, palms touch, draw them to heart center. We'll do that one more time. Inhale up, exhale. Draw up your thumbs to your third eye or in between your um, eyebrows and give it a little rub to awakening the wisdom within. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.